Hi there, this is Izzy and it's my first Orchid unboxing of 2022. I couldn't keep myself away from eBay for particularly long, but I was inspired a little by something I saw from Petal Sepals and Spines. So let me unbox this a bit more and we'll talk about it. It's an absolutely enormous box. And it only contains two plants. So, I watched a video by Petal Sepals and Spines just before the new year. And it was part of a Slipper Orchids care collab. And prior to this point, I thought, yeah, Slipper Orchids, they're interesting. They're really nice. But then I saw a bright lemon yellow Slipper Orchid in their collection and I thought what on earth is that it looks fantastic but where on earth did this bright yellow orchid come from and petal supples and spines said we ordered the American hybrid but it seems as though it's something slightly different and that set me off on the route of researching American hybrid puppy petals Now, American hybrid papillopedalums are a complex hybrid. I'm not best placed to explain everything about them, so I recommend that you look at some of the other information online. But essentially, they're a hybrid produced from papillopedalum hybrids that were bred into big, blousy, flower forms by US growers and there's another kind of US hybrid that actually is produced in Europe which has slightly different flower forms but one of the main principles about these hybrids is that every single plant is different And I have ordered two that show off some of those differences. So we've got plant number one, showing off several of the characteristics of an American puffy pedal. Quite a robust plant, thick strapping leaves, probably because it's 45 to 55 roughly percent papillopedalum insigne, which does have those lovely strap-like leaves. But we can also see this gigantic bloom. Look at that size with what chocolatey speckling. It's like somebody took, oh, someone took their hot chocolate and splattered it everywhere. How brilliant. And this beautiful flare at the back. Oh, I'm just going to admire that for a little bit. Mm. I quite like how it's spotted on this sheath as well back here where the flowers actually just popped out of its protected sheath but it's showing the same kind of spotting as the main, main stem. Oh that's gorgeous. So here we have got a three growth plant one main one that's flowering, an intermediate that looks like it's a couple of years away and a new one just starting there. The seller has packaged them individually with plenty of padding around the individual plants and a little bit to hold in at the base any bits of media and it looks like it's just potted in coarse bark but I'll take a look. Interesting. So it's actually potted in a mix of bark and what looked like little bits of pumice or rock. So that's a slightly drier environment than I expected, but that's really going to be great. I'm not a puppy peddling, <laughs> I'm barely a puppy peddling beginner. Um, so this is going to be good, a nice dry medium for me to start out with and to experiment with. And hey, I've got it in bloom already, so I can just enjoy that bloom. Well, I better open up the other one. 
as you can see, these two papillopedalums are the same cross, technically, but they've got completely different flowers. I mean, you could be more different, I guess, but there's differences in the hood shape, there's differences in the cup shape, there's differences in the frilliness, and there's the obvious difference in colour. I'll just bring this yellow one in closer for you to take a good look. It's a very delicate yellow and green with a blush of brown across the petals and light delicate spotting. Again, it's still in enormous bloom. And if we contrast that with this one, frilly, brown, heavily spotted, so different. A much heavier bloom all around. And the plants, there's more speckling at the base of the darker one than the lighter one, which I guess you'd expect with the darker bloom. Again, two really healthy plants here. This one with two growths, that one with three. They do look fantastic. So that's my pair of American paps. And you'll notice that they're, they're different again from petal, sepals and spines papillopedalums. If you take a look at their video, you'll see that they're different because every single one of these is going to be different. They can't be cloned unlike other orchids. So each one will be its own unique plant and give you its own unique flowers. Now all I have to do is learn how to look after these two. Thanks ever so much for listening. If you've liked this video, give it a like. If you'd like to hear more, just subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.